How we doing? How we doing? Oh, it was good. It was good. How was yours? Good. Thanks for asking. Of course. Of course. Um, any projects, anything in the training room that you worked on this offseason between spring OTAs or anything like that and um, coming in here today? Uh, Body-wise or like on my house? Anything. All right. yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you had some house projects happening too. Yeah, I mean, the house is always the stuff going on, man. they just cleaning up after the kids. But, you know, just same stuff, getting back as healthy as possible, feeling good, getting strong. Uh, be conditioned to the best of your ability and all that good stuff. So nothing really sp super specific. How is your? How are you feeling physically after the length of that season, and then understanding that you guys are just going right back into it? Sure. Yeah. No. Feel good. Um, you know. Feel ready to go. Um, you know. Obviously, Sean does a great job taking care of us. And OTAs were way slimmed down for what the, the norm is around the league. Um, but uh, you know, I think guys, professionals, and you know, got in what they got. They needed to get in. Get your body work. Get your workouts. Take the time off when you need. Be smart when you need to. Get after when you need to. So, uh, but me personally, I'm feeling good. And from everyone I've talked to around here, that's kind of the same same thing. Rob, I noticed when you were back in Wisconsin this offseason, you were working out with Logan Russ a lot. Yep. I know it's not out of the ordinary for a veteran to take a rookie under their wing. No, I didn't. But talk to him. I mean, what kind of facilitated that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, doing that. Um. Yeah, we were working out pre-draft too. Um. So he was. Uh, he was, in his, he was in the same spot I, I, I was with the same trainer, Brian Bott, and um, just kind of hit him up saying, hey, what are you doing? What's your plans? Even though this was even before the draft and, you know, just want, want Wisconsin guys around and, you know, be working out with someone and kind of like-minded. And once we draft him and then came in the back, obviously I wasn't asking him what he was doing. You know, and now I was kind of telling him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he was, he, he was all in. With, I think he was there the first day he got back from, you know, the rookie stayed out a little bit longer for uh, OTAs. But... Just wanted to get around him, and you know, it's it's something I learned from Wit, uh, especially when we had that kind of um, that not not the COVID year, but but similar around that when everyone was kind of around, we couldn't really get into the building. Just you know, working out with guys in your room, or uh, there's always just that little bit of competition that you can't get on your own. And so that's uh, that's something I wanted to do again. And we had a uh, another uh, lineman who's with the Colts right now, kind of. Pushing, getting after it a little bit, and talking some smack when you can. So it was fun. It was a good time. And he was working. Uh, he was working hard. Um, how do you? Probably a dumb question, but how do you guys drill in that regard? Because you're trying to be aggressive. So how do you sort of attack each other in that sense? Is someone the, the D lineman and someone the O lineman, or how does that all? How's that set up? Uh, not even really football related. Okay. Uh, football related, I'd say it's more slowed down teaching technique. Um, you know, we're not getting out and banging or doing one-on-ones or anything like that. More talking through philosophies, getting steps down, making sure our body mechanics are kind of working the same way rather than taking full speed reps. But more in just kind of the weight room sense, you know. Um, if I'm starting the sets, pushing the pace a little bit, see how kind of guys react when we're pushing sleds or dragging sleds or whatever it was, uh, you know, who's going to be first? You know, it's very clear who finishes first. So. Um, you know, you want to be that guy as much as possible and, you know, push the guy next to you. Who uh, won? Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, me. how did your uh, approach to training camp change, if at all, since you, you know, you came into the league? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think you talk to anyone there rookie year and then you talk to them, you know, five years down the road, it's going to just be way different just because the game as you get older and older, kind of not um, slows down a little bit, but you get a little bit more, a little bit more appreciation for the details, and you're not just worried about you know, you're kind of you know, you're not drowning anymore. You're you know, you're safely onside the boat working on things where you can, uh, you know, slowly perfect your your craft. And um, that's a good question, Gary. Uh, kind of don't really think about it. Kind of just you know, go from year to year, and it changes the way it changes, mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, no, it's just things are a bit slower, not not more relaxed, but you can you can dig into the de the details a little bit a little bit better because you're not you know I'm not worried about the playbook right now, learning calls, things like that. Like I know all that stuff. I've been in the same uh, system for five years now. Like that stuff, I you know, I've already got banked. I can work on the actual little you know, little details of what the defense presenting us and things like that. So that's a good question, Gary. On paper, you're replacing two starters on the offensive line. Yep. In fact, pretty much everybody who's competing for those jobs is already here, and then you already know Logan Russ, obviously. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate a, a transition period before you are, you know, 100% together, or is that is that something that's going to be easier because you already know all these guys? 
Um, well, each team's different. Um, guys come in in different shapes like that. Um, guys might come in a little bit of diff different mentality. Um, so there's always going to be a little bit of transition period. I mean, I think the first week camp, I mean, everyone kind of forgets how to play football for a little bit, and you kind of got to hone in to, to, to what you're doing. But um, it'll be a good competition. A lot of guys are getting out there, uh, getting ready for it. So we'll, uh, we'll see kind of how all that shakes out. Uh, well, Joe's an incredible athlete, first off. Um, he's a hard worker, incredible athlete. Love being around the guy. Um, you know, we both have the, uh, you know, the privilege of being, a, you know, being around Andrew for you know, as many years as we were. And, but, uh, you know, Joe is one of the smoothest athletes I've ever seen. It's honestly annoying at times because he just makes it look so effortless. But, uh, you know, with his strong and his lean and quick and grounded as that guy is, you know, I'm excited to see what he, see what he does. Notice um, in spring you were taking AJ Curry aside a little bit, just working on some technical stuff one-on-one. -on -one. What can you tell us about him, um, what you see in him, and kind of where he can go next? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll pretty much – it wasn't me taking AJ aside. It was AJ asking questions. Um, and I think that's an important detail because, it's, you know, if, at, for a young guy to ask questions, it shows me he cares. It shows me he actually wants to do it. He wants to be here. Um, there's been a handful of guys throughout the years uh, that, have, that, have, that have done that. Um, but, you know, A.J. wants to get the steps down. You could tell he was getting frustrated, I think, day one when he was working on his drill on the Crowther. And he just wasn't quite getting it, so it didn't look smooth. And you could tell he was getting visibly frustrated. So he kind of had to reel him in and be like, all right, hey, it's day one. You've never played, like, done these drills before with us. Like, calm down a little bit, you know. <laughs> and, he, you know and he did and smoothed it out and eventually got it right. But, you know, looking for good things from him this year. You know, he's a hard worker and, uh, you know, ready for him to, you know, Take a good step when we're actually playing football. Um, sorry, one follow-up too. Um, well, not technically follow-up, but uh, Rob, as you entered this season, contract year, and then also you're taking this veteran leadership role that you've had, but now I think it's maybe more in the spotlight about Andrew. Um, how are you feeling about this year? Do you have thoughts about you know your long term after this year? Are you tr you try to stay right where you're? Um, yeah, no, I was kind of the same thing when I was dealing when we were doing this on my uh, on my my second deal. Um, what was that back in eighteen? I think uh, that's why I pay an agent. Otherwise, I wouldn't pay an agent. Um, <laughs> so he handles that. I handle the football business. So I don't. I no. I I really don't think about it. Um, I just go out and check. You know, I I handle the football side. They handle everything else. And so if it, you know. Everything works out great, but you know, for right now, it's day one of camp. That's my only focus, and then once that's done, it's day two of camp, and that's where we'll go from there. But in terms of the leadership standpoint, you know, it's uh, I think we have a good collective in the room. Um, obviously, I have a, I have a lot of experience compared to a lot of the, the other guys in the room. But you know, guys like Brian Allen, David Edwards, Joe Nopum. You know, Joe's had uh, starting roles in big time games. You know, to start against uh, you know Tampa Bay at Tampa in the playoffs this year, and go against JPP and all the. Uh, the rushes they had and had been to put on the performance that he did was you know, was quite special. And so I think we have a really good collective in the room where guys kind of spit ideas off each other, um, bounce bounce things off each other, and everyone's kind of working together. And I think that's you know something special about this room. Yeah. We appreciate you, sir. Cool. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate you.